Robert Griffin III burst onto the NFL stage in 2012 and had one of the most memorable rookie seasons ever because of his jaw-dropping athleticism and playmaking ability. But what was crazy was that he was drafted by Mike Shanahan, the inventor of the wide zone offense, and it was the first time we've seen a QB of his athletic profile in this offense, which led to some absolutely incredible plays, and I've remade this scheme for you to use in Madden 24. In this video, we'll be breaking down the key principles that make this offense so tough to stop and we're going to have specifically designed plays to attack defenses just like Washington did in 2012. And to replicate this offense, we'll be using these four formations in the Chicago Bears playbook. Now, this is actually all part of a bigger scheme I'm creating where I break down four offenses all based around the wide zone. Then each of these four schemes will be run out of the Bears playbook so they can all be combined and used together as one giant scheme and the playlist for this whole offense will be linked down in the description. Now, the head coach of Washington in 2012 was Mike Shanahan, but he had a young up-and-coming coaching staff that included three of the best current NFL head head coaches in Sean McVay, Mike McDaniel, and Mike's son, Kyle Shanahan. And this group together learned the wide zone offense before spreading it around to the rest of the NFL. Now, formationally, the classic wide zone is run under center in single back looks, and we are going to be recreating this with the formation single back wing pair. This formation has a great wide zone run, and it is amazing at getting our zone run game going where the offensive line will move laterally down the line of scrimmage with a series of double teams before working to the second level, and this will set up the whole rest of our attack. Then as the running back, you want to read these blocks, and as soon as you see the hole, you put your foot in the ground and explode upfield and get into the secondary where you can start to be explosive and make some huge plays. And this run is very good because we have three tight ends on the line and they do a great job of collapsing the defense inside, allowing us to hit the edge. And this can help us create some really massive gains. The other aspect that the Washington coaching staff implemented was the utilization of shotgun. And now they could run their outside zone runs while not under center and still be just as dynamic. And we'll be doing the same thing in split close pro for our offense. And this heavy use of the run actually allowed Washington to lead the NFL in rushing in 2012 with 2,709 yards. The run we're going to be looking at here is outside zone in split close pro and I like to come out with the run going to the wide side of the field and this run is very good at allowing us to pick up some big plays getting downhill. Now I find the blocking on this one tends to work two ways. First with my tight end wide receiver and fullback out in front and if they're able to collapse the edge of the defense down then I'm able to turn the corner get in the open field and pick up some really big yardage with my running back or what you can see happen is after the snap if the defense is able to set the edge more we want to read our fullback and if he kicks the edge player out we actually want to cut off of him get up field and now find the gap and this can lead to some really nice pickups as well then on top of their normal run game what set the skins apart was how they could add the athletic dynamism that robert griffin the third brought to the table and he took the nfl by storm with his jaw dropping athleticism adding a whole new element to the wide zone that we hadn't seen before. So then they brought in the read option and they were one of the first teams to make it a major component of their offense. And if Griffin saw the edge crash down, he was gonna pull that ball, get to the edge and make magic happen. Now the version we are gonna run is the read option and wing slot offset. And it can seem simple, read the read defender. And if the defense bites down, then we can just keep the ball, hit the edge and become a playmaker in the open field with our QB. But we have a trick to make this run even better. Run it to the wide side again and now you want to take your slot receiver and motion him across the field. And here we're trying to cancel out the read defender so he gets blocked. So you want to snap the ball during the motion. And as you see the icon leave over this player's head, now you want to snap the ball. You will see the read player gets blocked. And now you have a ton of room to the outside where you can get into the open field with your QB. And this one trick makes this play so much more explosive. Then the last part of this play is if you motion your player across and the read icon player doesn't get blocked or you just don't like the look of the run to the outside, then you can just hand it off, get downhill with your running back, and you can pick up a ton of easy yards. Now, adding RG3 to this offense was incredible, and his legs and ability to run brought such an X factor to the table. And there really had only been a few QBs up to that point who played in the NFL who were able to do what he could do with the ball in his hands. And this led to him rushing for 815 yards in 2012, which was the fourth most of all time in a single season ever by a QB in history up to that point. So for this offense, you want to make sure you can get the most out of your QB position. So you want to use a fast athletic QB who can be dynamic in the run game. And I'm using the new Jalen Hurts card.
guard and he is great and he's going to be able to get the edge and make plays with his legs but then he can also use his arm and make every big play down the field that we need him to so the next qb run we're going to look at here is bears qb sweep in bunch strong offset and this is a great way to have a quick hitting run where we can get downhill right away with our quarterback i like to run this to the wide side of the field now we're just going to snap this ball get in behind our wall of blockers let them engage and when i see an opening i want to explode through it now we can get our athletic qb out into the open where he can make a ton of plays then one other pro tip to make this better is to sub in a second tight end at the middle player in the bunch now he's going to be a much better blocker at the point of attack closing off the edge and giving us some opportunities to find some big running lanes on the outside with our athletic mobile qb now having such an incredibly dynamic run game allowed the skins to have a super dynamic play action pass game this was perfect to work off their runs and when they started to get linebackers and safeties cheating up then they could hit these play action plays and push the ball down the field for big pickups now the play action play we're going to be looking at is pa reed in wing slot offset this is a great vertical shot play that we can use to push the ball deep down the field to set this up come out with your tight ends to the wide side of the field then put your slot receiver on a streak and motion him across the field so after you snap it you're gonna have a play action fake and we want to try to draw all the users and linebackers down towards the ball opening up space for our tight end on a corner route we're gonna have a runoff route from our motioned over player and if the flat defender stays shallow you can fire this in for a huge pickup deep along the sideline after snapping the ball and executing the play action if the user starts leaving the middle of the field to follow the corner route this is gonna open up the whole middle of the field and we have a backside post coming in and we can fire this in front of the safety for another really nice game lastly this play features a chip and release route from our tight end if both the flat defender and the user cover the post and corner route then once this tight end releases out on his route it can be a very nice check down option underneath another major impact of washington's powerful run game is that it forced defenses to bring more players into the box trying to stop the run this allowed washington to create one-on-one -on -one matchups on the outside where rg3 could use his big arm to push the ball down the field for explosive plays a great deep shot will use in this offense is verticals hb burst in gun tight open which can be a crazy explosive one play touchdown to set it up come out with your running back to the short side of the field then motion the outside receiver on that side away from the ball then take the slot receiver on the wide side and put him on a fade against cover three you'll see the outside corner pulled out by your motion player the deep middle safety gets held in place by the tight end going up the seam and our slot on the wide side splits the safety in the corner getting wide open down the seam for an easy walk-in touchdown versus cover three if they play cover two now the motioned out receiver gets up and outside the cornerback on the wide side while our fade holds that deep safety in the middle and once the outside player clears the flat defender you can fire this in deep along the sideline for a really huge pickup versus cover two now post snap if you have cover four or man coverage or check down option is going to be a running back out of the backfield and if nothing's open deep just drop it down to him and let him get those easy yards underneath now if you want to take this offense to the next level you need to check out my website scheme kings up right now is part two of this video where i will give you seven more plays for this rg3 offense that includes some amazing runs great ways to beat man coverage and a ton of ways to shred zone then also on the site there's my wide zone school video where i'm going to go over some of the concepts and plays that that are vital to make this offense work then there is a ton more up on the site for this wide zone offense that you can check out then also on the site you can find my two full schemes that are out so far in madden 24 with my nfl spread offense and my georgia bulldogs match based defense also you can get access to my playbooks which are fully written breakdowns for my schemes with eight out so far and my newest being my georgia bulldogs match coverage based defense and it's 38 pages long and it you can utilize it to take your defense to a whole nother level then also on the site we're running a sale use code wide at checkout for 50 percent off your first month and this is going to run until january 1st so if you want to check out scheme kings it will be linked down in the description below the final element of Washington's offense was their drop back pass game. While not the primary focus, RG3 had the ability to pick defenses apart with his powerful right arm when necessary. Now, the first play we're going to be breaking down here is an amazing zone beater with four great options, and it is tight end attack in single back wing pair. To set it up, come out with your tight ends to the wide side of the field, motion the outside tight end out, and put your running back on a wheel route. The wheel is our initial target. Watch as the motion tight end pulls 
the flat defender out. Then with two vertical routes from our inside tight ends, if they draw back the user and the linebackers, we can hit the running back as he enters the shallow seam. And then you can rack, catch it, get upfield and get some really nice yardage with this route. Next, if after the snap, you see the flat defender stays inside on the wheel route, quickly throw it to your motioned out tight end. You can rack, catch this and get some really easy free yards. Now, post snap, you can also work the tight ends in the middle of the field. And we have multiple, so we're going to put a ton of pressure on the user. If he stays on the shallow tight end, as he cuts across the field, you can hit your deeper tight end as he breaks into the middle of the field. And you just want to drop this in in front of the safety for a really big pickup. Lastly, if the user and linebackers follow that second deeper tight end down the field, you can wait for your shallower tight end to get in behind the flat defender along the sideline and drop it in for another big pickup. Next, we have an amazing man beating play with four great options that all attack different areas of the field with jet angle in split close pro to set this play up come out with your tight end to the wide side of the field then block your fullback first focus on the running back texas red out of the backfield this route is amazing gaining plenty of separation as it cuts across the middle and if the user isn't covering it you can fire this in and get some really consistent yards next look to the c route from the solo receiver i like to run short and elite with this guy and as he breaks out to the sideline this ability will activate and he's gonna lose his man coverage and now you can just become super dangerous in the open field with the ball in your hands, and this can lead to some huge plays. We also have two shorter options on this play. First, our tight end is gonna break out to the wide side of the field, and you can throw it as he breaks. And once again, you can use your athleticism to make plays in the open field with the ball in your hands. And then lastly, if they're playing everyone kind of deep over your C route, they're taking away the Texas route. We have a whip route from the wide side, and it's actually gonna break out and then back inside, and it'll lose its man coverage, and you can draw it in over the middle of the field for a great fourth option on this play. Now, this RG3 offense is going to make you so tough to stop. And remember, there's part two up right now on Scheme Kings. But then if you want a full breakdown of the idea behind the wide zone and a deep dive into the personnel we are using for this offense, then you need to check out the intro video for the wide zone scheme right here.